Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I want to share with you, I've done a lot of videos or a few videos uh, concerning some of my findings, but I've also placed a lot of uh, still images, just pictures out there, and I thought, well, I might as well just do a video on the images that I have found concerning even some of the videos, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's go here, and you'll see what I'm saying. Um, Here's, a, here's an image. This is what I call Akhenaten. And um, you got your, this is on Earth, and this is here is the image that I um, read across on Mars. Uh, John Ward helped me um, find some of this. He, he showed some interesting stuff, and he passes some things up. I do the same thing all the time. But um, he helped me out with this. These are the coordinates the links, everything you need to know, you can go straight here. See, now this one's got a little bit of a, a different contrast here. I've done it in a couple. This is the original uh, without any um, contrast alterations. And, and right beside this, what I call Akhenaten, which may or may not be, is this it looks like a, a Jupiter 2 or a spaceship or something. But I don't know what that is. I don't have no idea. I'm not saying anything about that. But it looks like there's something there. I have no idea. Maybe it's a, a floating restaurant. As in Jerry's. I have no idea what that is. But uh, I thought that the, it looked like uh, Akhenaten. Except for this piece right here. It looks like a, a big thumbnail big toenail or something I don't know maybe it's this piece and it done slid away maybe it, this has nothing to do with that I don't know but um, I found that interesting kind of shocking actually this is just one image these are my stills I'm doing a, a video on my stills let's go to the next one here we go now I did a video on this one if you can read the uh, labels in red little froggy here, a little eyeball, and the mouth, and some smile, and arm, a little finger pointing over here. In the video, I point out what this froggy's pointing at. And then you got this guy with the helmet, and you can see the webbed feet, barely, coming across the top of his helmet. This guy, his nose, his eye, eyeball, nose, mustache, beard, helmet sideways, got a so, and I, I tell you what that is in the video eventually, but you can see his shoulder, his arms, hand. He's holding the bag, you know, the handbags. All these Sumerians with the handbags. This guy on Mars has a handbag also. Well, anyway, uh, here I'm putting the uh, links and the coordinates, the information in this video because there's so many that we're going to cover here. To type them in, put them into the description below, I don't know, uh, you might have trouble coordinating that. I might have trouble doing that. So let's go on to the next one. This is in a video. This one I call this one the uh, Lion Tamer, no, the Dragon Slayer or Lion Tamer on Mars. Uh, this is one of my videos on my YouTube uh, page. and um, I, I don't, I'm not doing any of this for any money. There's no personal gain. I'm not even seeking attention. I'm, I'm doing it because I find it very interesting. And I thought uh, maybe others might want to know. And I've been accused of this and that. And it's not that way. I, I, I've lost money doing this. I'm not taking donations. I started to take donations. You can see. I think there's one or two videos I posted. Where I said. Um, I, I was accepted. But I took my PayPal down. I don't want no money. I'm not looking for self-gratification. I'm not looking for attention. I'm thinking people, are are we being lied to? If we are, in what way are we being lied to? Is NASA lying? Are they hiding this? Are they, did they fake this stuff? Um, or is it real? I, I don't know. I have been searching for about a year now, and I still don't know. I don't know if this is stuff is real or whether it's fake. I've seen people try. I, I still don't have the evidence 
to prove it either way. I mean, if I can fly to Mars, if it's possible, land on there and walk up to this stuff, you know, that I've done these videos on, if I can walk up to it or fly above it or see it below and uh, with my own eyes, well then, all right, I'm kind of convinced. Unless um, they take me to another planet. All right, let's hit on uh, to uh, the next one. This one's uh, recent. I call it Insanity on Mars. Uh, I didn't do a video on this one. But if you can look at the comparison here, you know, we've all played poker, um, most of us. I'm pretty good at it. But um, look at this guy here on the Mars image. The coordinates and everything, the links, it's all there. You can do this yourself. But I put a comparison. It, maybe it's a little far-fetched, but it's kind of coordinating with this over here. Two eyes, nose, little chipper teeth there, chin, ear over here. Joker reminded me of the Joker. I, I don't know. Maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Next image. This is one I, I've thrown out there a few times. Um, coordinates are there. It's Mendelssohn Flows and Moral Creator. Uh, and then it, you know, you can go here. It's at the. This is the website. www. Follow my cursor here. Uh, Highrise.org. And then uh, I didn't put that on this image, but this is the name of the file you'll type in. This is the coordinates, and you can go there yourself. You will run into these. It takes a little effort. You got to zoom in. You got to get your contrast set. There it is. I didn't change anything. Let's go to the next one. Here's what I. What is this? Uh, all right. Um, pay attention to this one. Uh, this one here. This little photo I stuck in the middle of this grab I took from here. I stuck it right here, right beside this face. This is called the Mexican Mayan Civilization, whatever there, Toltec God of Spring. That's on Earth, this image. I put it beside this here. See, see this guy here? That's his eye. Now, <clears throat> this guy, eyes are normal. This one's got a little bit of a flare-up. But you can find the ones that got the flare-up, just like this one. Or you can find them where it's just typical eyeball. See the, the, the flare there. And then the two nostrils and the mouth, chin. And I threw in the extras there. You know, I'm not so sure about that. I'm just saying it does look like. I'm not saying it is. This guy convinced me that it's this guy. This one's on Earth. This one's on Mars. Here's a, a I did two snags. See, here's the same image from a distance. That's all three or four of them there. And this is a closer up view. Coordinates are there. Image. Link. Go there. You can do it. <laughs> you get, the program takes... It's a good program. It takes a little getting used to. After a couple good finds, uh, I think you got it. Well, let's go to another one. This is my favorite. I call this the uh, Mayan Aztec... Aztec... Inca, whoever, Almec on Mars. You've probably seen this, maybe not. Uh, but there's 20 other deities around this one guy right here that you're looking at. I just cornered this one off. It was so obvious. This is the one that caught me. And then when I studied him, I realized, oh my goodness, there's 20 more right here, right beside this guy all in a row in the northern hemisphere and even the um, the uh, investigative journalist certain ones knew this already by description but they apparently didn't see the pictures and we shared a little we traded and I gave the images they gave me some more details and it fit hand in hand, just like on a glove. Um, but this is the coordinates. I did a video on this. It's called, uh, let me see, what did we call that? We called this one the Ancient Petroglyphs on Mars. I think that was the name of it. Um, let me pull this over here. Here are my videos, my links too, but I'm not pushing that. Like I said, I don't make no money. Ancient Petroglyphs on Mars, and that's my link right there. This is the Dragon Slayer link. 
the Gladiator on Mars link. Uh, that I didn't include that one or that one or this one. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm not here to make money. I don't have a website. I'm, you're going to go to YouTube if you want to look at my videos, but I, I don't have no monetary potential. I don't have a website to send you to and that where you where your mouse passes over you make 25 cents every time somebody goes on your website I don't have one I could do it but um, it's not I, I don't feel that's the right way but you know I think there are people that make money off of this anyway um, here we are I didn't realize it this is the um, the World War II fighter pilot it's the same moral mantles and flows and moral crater there's your coordinates um, you got to zoom in just and if you go here and you find this guy if you're good enough and you find this guy You'll notice that he's actually in a ship that went down and There's another ship right beside him with another character. That's not like even him. It's like a different uh, creative person a, a different deity in another craft similar to the one he's flying but uh, I just got this one snag in a comparison kind of help but um it's on mars it's right there it's your coordinates i i started posting this here when i first started i, I was discouraged uh you know nasa they sent me here they said uh we don't want to hear it uh or it ain't that they didn't want to hear it they um they didn't want to go they didn't want to discuss it and they're going look 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 if you if you want to do anything you can take your findings and you can go here and I did. I'm like, okay. So sure, I did. and Because um, they, they didn't want to discuss anything I showed them. So um, I go here, and what's the, what happens? The first thing they did was trash me. And as soon as I caught them at their error, or at their tech, at their whatever you call it, um, scheme, maybe, they trashed me. I pointed it out to the public. I said, I, I even think I know who you people are. Because they didn't want to, they trashed me. Every time I posted something, they trashed me. They cut me down, cut me out. And then they, when I, when I, when I found out, when I pointed out who it was and what they were doing, and I told them I knew why you were doing it, as you can see, they deleted my account. Your account has been temporarily suspended. No, 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 no. They wasn't temporary nothing. They, they deleted my account. Get out of town. Go home. So I'm like, you know, maybe that was on purpose to get me steered up. So maybe they want me to push this stuff a little farther. Um, let me see now. We went there and there and there and there. Here's one. These are just my steals. And um, this one, I call this the wild boar on Mars. You know, it looks like an eye, nose, mouth. My video ain't on this isn't so great, but the, and this even this image, the contrast isn't. It's close. You can see two eyes, nose, and mouth, eyeballs. It's like a wild pig, wild boar, whatever. That's your coordinates. That's the name of the file. This is on um. Oh my goodness! I didn't, it says gully with light tone material that's it right there see I'm, I'm sorry I didn't type that in gully with light tone material Niagara Dallas and whatever numbers there creature I caught well I said uh, hmm How come that says creatures? anyway that's the uh, number that's the name of the file you just go to the University of Arizona Highrise.org. You type that in the search engine. You'll go here. Go to these coordinates. You got to download it. And you got to download the High View program. It's free. It's pretty cool. You got to. Takes a little practice. Uh, I thought I had it whooped once, and then I realized I wasn't even close. So uh, certain ways you got to work the contrast. It ain't you do a slider. You do it with your... Okay, well, let's get on with this. I think I got one more. This is the one I'm still looking for the coordinates. Um, I can't remember which... 
I can't remember which file I got this on, but it's like two faces, and then this xenomorph type creature right out of the movies of a the movie of aliens, or right in front of them. There's got two people here, entities, deities, and then the, there's this creature in front, and you can actually research this and find out what is going on here, but uh, it's kind of hard to believe. But it, you know, either these things are faked or they're real. If they're real, well, as a species, we don't know nothing because they can breathe this stuff into existence as they speak. So it's a little troubling, but uh, maybe that's just a theory. I think that's the last one I got. Because we're back to Akhenaten. And, uh, that spaceship looking thing there and he's right there you know nose eyes mouth yeah. it looks like a big thumbnail i don't know i didn't make this stuff i just ran across it i'm going to end this video i hope uh i'm not wasting your time everybody take care please join enjoy bye bye